Welcome back to New Rockstars, I'm Eric Voss, and this is a breakdown of the new trailer for Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. Now, this is a teaser that rolled after the credits of Spider-Man No Way Home, but with some titles added, new details there. And while I did begin to break down this footage in our post credit scene video, now that this trailer is online, I need to go through this frame by frame to break down the new details that we can now see. Specifically, I am now obsessed with everyone's hands. Also, everyone's hands in this trailer. Oh, and speaking of Strange, be sure to get our new limited edition Strange Entanglement shirt at New Rockstars Merch.com, I love that No Way Home design. Here we go. Don't cast that spell. It's too dangerous. Why? We tampered with the stability of space-time. The multiverse is a concept about which we know frighteningly little. Okay, we open with the audio from Spider-Man No Way Home, including Strange's lectures to Peter Parker and acting Sorcerer Supreme Wong's warning to Strange. Strange, don't cast that spell. It's too dangerous. Which interestingly was in the No Way Home trailer, but not in the movie itself. That just had Wong saying, leave me out of this. We could be seeing one reality in which Wong did actually warn Strange, because we're gonna be seeing lots of different realities in this movie. Candles blow out at Kamartaj, probably the same shot where an ominous cloud looms over it, and we see Strange's broken watch from the 2016 film, which symbolized his own broken hands, and the way he broke time to defeat Dormammu, which is one of the many reality meddling choices that he made throughout the MCU to desecrate the multiverse like this. And now that bill has come due. Moving on. We'll not go on butters, on butters, on butters. It was the only way. So we hear the voice of Mordo still on that anti-sorcerer crusade from the 2016 film, and Strange looks out to see the city block disintegrating, looking a lot like the visuals from What If Episode 4, when Doctor Strange bypassed an absolute point and began to melt reality into dark matter, by far my favorite episode of that series, and one that seems like it'll have real implications on this film. Also notice here that Strange's cloak looks torn. It is missing a chunk from the back. So this is on the other side of some scuffle he got into. Doctor Strange has the Eye of Agamotto necklace once more as he did in No Way Home, despite Thanos breaking it in Infinity War and the Time Stone that it once housed being atomized. But notice that Strange now wears it way higher on his chest, closer to his neck, as opposed to dangling lower on his chest. So the Eye of Agamotto still must have some additional magic to it, and Strange needs that magic close to his head. Maybe this also helps the cloak protect it. Moving on. But I never meant for any of this to happen. Okay, the Sanctum Lobby is now flooded with seawater from a beach on the other side of that broken wall. Now, in No Way Home, they had left the Rotunda Gateway open to Siberia, causing that blizzard to freeze it over. But we also got one cryptic line about the Sanctum Walls being built at the intersection of cosmic energy currents. So, nature spilling into the Sanctum in both of these cases could actually be a reflection of the multiverse coming apart. And we see shots of Wanda's red chaos magic and Christine Palmer's wedding day, where Strange watches from the pews alongside Dr. Dr. Nick West. Notice how Strange tucks a bit of red into his front pocket, maybe his cloak in case he needs a quick change. Then in the star jacket is America Chavez, the young multiversal warrior who comes from the utopian parallel. She's played by Zochi Gomez, known for kicking star portals. And we may actually see one of those star portals here. You can see a giant blue star as a sorcerer tumbled through it. At first I thought it was strange from that gray stripe, but this person has a ponytail. So maybe this is another sorcerer or America or one of America's parents. The moment she loses them. The Marvel Studios logo is filtered through broken glass to show different comic book backgrounds in the letters. We are expected to see a ton of cameos of alternate universe Avengers in this movie. There are rumors of Haley Atwell returning as Captain Carter in live action, maybe even Deadpool in this movie. And notice how the Marvel logos include ones used in past MCU phases and ones used ahead of Marvel films by other studios like the Fox X-Men films. We are all praying Wanda Maximoff pulls a reverse House of M to declare let there be mutants and maybe bring X-Men into the MCU, but hopefully no boner this time. Boner. <laughs> Moving on. Wanda. Oh, I knew sooner or later you'd show up. I made mistakes and people were hurt. I'm not here to talk about Westview. Then what are you here for? I need your help. With what? What do you know about the multiverse? Okay, Strange visits with Wanda Maximoff, apparently having relocated from her remote mountain cabin in the WandaVision post credit scene to this serene orchard estate with sheep. This time, animal sheep who must follow her like sheep instead of humans. 
<laughs> but we still have to wonder if this could actually be another pocket reality of Wanda's design with its neatly groomed orchard that Wanda can be alone and away from everyone in. As she continues to search in the dark hold for her children, it was actually confirmed by Marvel Studios that Doctor Strange did know what Wanda was doing in Westview and that those commercials were actually intended to be messages from Doctor Strange, including the final one confirming that Wanda Maximoff was a Nexus being and including that cryptic line of ask your doctor. But that cameo was removed from WandaVision because they didn't want to make it too much about Doctor Strange, wanted to keep it focused on Wanda. I know, I know, Spider-Man No Way Home just gave us the perfect holiday gift. And I think we need a way to celebrate the magnitude of this occasion. Well, our merch partners at Epic Hero are stepping up to release the biggest shirts of the year. Not like in size, but you know, in like, uh, they're a big deal. I'm very important. My apartment smells of rich mahogany. <laughs> they have multiple new shirt designs and Inspired by No Way Home, Strange Entanglement is the newest member of their limited edition latest obsession line. It looks so cool. They also have a new Spider Polo, the spiritual successor to their mega hit Loki Gator Polo. It's a perfect gift for the nerd who likes to break up the t-shirt rotation with an occasional collared shirt. You know, it gives, it gives some structure to, to this undefined unknown region. But there's also a sick Sinister Six shirt in the style of the usual Suspects movie poster. And of course, way more Spidey merch on the way. Really, they have all kinds of shirts and hoodies and stickers, other merch inspired by Loki, Shang-Chi, other properties, including a new Kingpin-inspired shirt, Long Live the King, celebrating Wilson Fisk's return to the MCU in Hawkeye. And of course, there's also official new Rockstars merch with our logo, in some cases with my name. If you ever see me in public and you're wearing one of these, I am legally required to high-five you. So what you gotta do is sign up for their newsletter at the bottom of their website to get notified about the latest merch drops and check out all of their incredible products at epicheroshop.com. Be your own hero. Let's move on. I'm sorry, Stephen. I hope you understand. So here, Doctor Strange, America Chavez, and Christine Palmer enter through this hatch of a ship. A sign on the left read, keep door closed. And on the other side, it opens to a new dimension with broken columns and a central statue that emits a light source. I wonder if this could be the ruins of America's home reality, the utopian parallel. Interesting to include Christine Palmer on that journey, though. And then Mordo confronts Strange with his awesome new look. But then we see the Scarlet Witch in a seance, wearing her new outfit that she gained in WandaVision by defeating Agatha Harkness. But new detail I love. Notice Wanda's fingertips. They are fading black the way Agatha's would when she cast a spell. It's just a very cool way of showing how Wanda is using that same dark magic that Agatha used that drains some of your own life force. Moving on. The greatest threat to our universe. So Mordo and Strange duel, calling back their sparring in the 2016 film. Strange strings something between his wrists to block the blow from Mordo. Then we see this explosion in the Camartage courtyard, and if you look closely in the middle, there is a horned minotaur-like beast stand in the center between this and Gargantos. By the way, that's not Shumagorath. This movie is gonna be filled with supernatural monsters and entities. Then Strange conjures some red chaos magic like that of Wanda and projecting these various orbs that I've suspected could depict the multiverse and how those various worlds are now tethered together. Notice how this location has that harp from the lair of Dark Strange, but notice that broken sanctum window in the background. Earlier we saw some Strange's hand over a similarly lit window with dust collecting on the sill, so this frame may have been broken in rage by that variant of Strange and may have caused what is happening to his hand. Then there's a quick shot of the Sanctum Tea Room with America and Wong where Strange releases these serpentine forms from his hands. This looks just like Strange's various attacks in that What If episode after he absorbed various interdimensional beings. I really do think the meddling of Strange Supreme in that episode is going to be a huge reason why the multiverse in this film is collapsing the way it is. Then Gargantos throws the bus at Strange with that Cafe La Llave ad, Unlock a Better Day. Interesting choice of words for a film with doors throughout the production design. And speaking of which, that phone booth to the left has an ad reading, The Magic of Tea. This phone booth could be another portal and exit point for these characters. And on to the final clip. Is you. Things just got out of hand.
So Strange faces his dark variant in this variant sanctum, and while I think Strange Supreme could be brought into this movie, he was not exactly this flavor of dark. I think this is yet another variant. And while he does have both his hands in every other shot, in this last one, his left hand is kind of hard to see. I want to know where that hand went, because we know Strange is all about his hands, hands that like to grope him when he goes through the multiverse. I also mentioned how Strange has a bit of purple reflected in his eye, which could just be the lighting, but since he is delving into Wanda's red chaos magic, also mixed up with all that is all the purple dark magic that she absorbed from Agatha. So I'm going to be talking about this film a lot more in the new year. But after we break down the Hawkeye finale, next week we're going to take a little break from Marvel content to enjoy our Hollywood holidays, and then we're going to return first week in January to hit everything hard. In the meantime, you can support us and get yourself some great Christmas gift options by checking out that Strange Entanglement shirt at NewRockStarsMerch.com. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at EA Voss. Follow NewRockStars. Subscribe to NewRockStars for more analysis of everything Marvel. Thanks for watching. Bye. <laughs>